Let's differentiate with respect to x cosine of 1 over x. So this is our outside function. This is our inside function. We have to use the chain rule for that reason. So differentiate the cosine function. That's negative sine. Then you copy the inside unchanged. So that's just 1 over x. But then you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which would be here 1 over x. Then you continue. So it's going to be negative sine of 1 over x. You can rewrite this for yourself as follows. x to the negative first. That's equivalent form. And then... You continue, so negative sine of 1 over x. Here you can use the power rule on x to the negative first. You bring the negative 1 down. And then you form x to the negative 1 minus 1. Subtract 1, bring the 1 down. And then you simplify, so negative sine of 1 over x. And then this is negative 1. This becomes x to the negative second. Continue, so then you get negative. Now look, there's a negative 1 here and a negative on the sine, so it becomes altogether a positive sine of 1 over x and then at the end you have 1 over x squared that's the equivalent form of x to the negative second and conventionally we just write this all as sine of 1 over x divided by x squared subscribe share and like